Looks, looks like a tumbleweed, huh? <laughs> Every character I've ever been on a video game. Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Bob? He said, don't skip leg day, bro. Oh, I skip leg day every day. <laughs> What's up, Beer Brand fam? Last week, we ran a giveaway for the Tree Ranger Utility Wash and Softener, and Harry Sorts won that one. So, Harry, check last week's comment section to find out how you can claim your prize. The, the Utility Wash and Softener is the perfect one two punch to clean the hairs and soften and condition them. The softener can also be used as a shave ladder, so shave that body up and make yourself silky smooth. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can win this week's giveaway. I've been a long time fan of Beard Brand. I remember seeing you guys on uh, Shark Tank. So, well, I uh, like my hair long. I want to keep it at least, you know, probably to the shoulders, but I'm going to give a lot of control up to Jesse. I trust um, his expertise. I trust Beard Brand. I'm excited to see what happens. It's been a long time, as you can tell. Uh, I like to read, um, a lot of do, a lot of uh, meditating, reflecting. You know, every day you gotta wake up and tell yourself, I wanna be better today. So, so Mark, what's, uh, what are you coming in for today, man? What do you wanna do on the hair? I, I want a makeover, my man. Yeah. Extreme any, Mark like, uh, makeover. The hair is just do, yeah. kind of, I'm looking to keep it long, like put mm -hmm. cut. Considerable length. Yeah, yeah, I like to keep it at the shoulder. And what about the beard? Beard, I'm gonna give you. It's been a long time since I had mm -hmm. a short, probably pandemic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we can we can take it off. Yeah. Probably not all the way. I'd probably sculpt it to the face. Okay. Probably like all the, a short to the face, with able to bring some shape out. So how's it doing, long hair man? How's that maintenance been? Is it always in the way? You've got a good routine going, or? Honestly, I mean, yeah, since it's gone past the shoulders, it's yeah. more of a nuisance. All right, so I'm going in for some first cuts here. I grayed early. I started graying at like 25, so and I'm 47. So but more, more of my life has been with gray hair than not, so it's just all I know. I'm not losing it, I and mean, it's, yeah, very, very fortunate. I had jokes with my wife. She asked me, well, how long are you doing it? Where, where, where's, what's the goal here? Mm -hmm. I said, well, I wanted to cover my breasts. <laughs> I want to have a lot of hair where I can walk around and not be yeah. ashamed. I, I never got there. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I have been coming to Mahesh for quite a few years. The experience, I think, is an important thing. It's not just an in and out quick haircut. I like to come and have a chat with Mahesh and find out what he's been doing. And it's, I suppose in some respects, it's like, it's like a bit of extra therapy as well. The spiritual growth is important. Um, I take time out for myself if I can. Um, I take accountability for the things I do. Look after myself mentally, look after myself physically, eat well when I can, sleep well when I can. Try not to let the stresses of life get to me too much. So, we talked about what you're having done today, and we're going for like a Julia Caesar-esque French crop, aren't we? Correct. But like, like a, but well, not Julia Caesar, but 300. King Leonidas. Cl Kim, Ger a, Gerard Butler. Yeah, a Gerard, a Gerard Curly Butler. How short do you want to go on the sides then? Um, let's go for a one, please. Your name came up in conversation the other day. <laughs> oh yeah, with who? <laughs> <laughs> the men's group. That's oh group. Yeah. yeah, they were all like, you threw me out of the group chat. Well, I did because you haven't been for about a year and a half. <laughs> no, I know. No, I wasn't offended. I got to myself in a position where that tool was no longer required. Yeah. But I could still use what I learned from the group. From the group. Yeah. And I got I got taken off of my fam my my in laws one for making inappropriate jokes on there. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep putting weird memes and like weird, I keep saying weird shit on there and then I get asked to, to not do that and I say, well, that's what I do. And then they say, well, we're going to take you off and then I go, and? Mm. I belong to 17 other WhatsApp yeah. groups I can do it's this on. It's a big deal. Yeah. The church one is brilliant for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a WhatsApp group that's just me and my wife. <laughs> We've got our own WhatsApp group, there's only me and her. Is it weird that there's only two people in the group? Is that a gr group sex would be more than three, would it? Because mm. it's a threesome and then it's a group, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's how it's all, that's how I've always played it out. Uh, 
I, I do personal training. I train a client who sees Francisco and he couldn't make it uh, for whatever reason. And he's like, hey man, I know you're looking for a new barber because I've kind of been bouncing around a little bit. And he's like, hey, why don't you check out or take my appointment? Yeah. It's like, perfect, I, I, need a, I need a haircut anyway. Yeah, I need a haircut anyway, so why not? What are you uh, looking to get done today? So I was thinking like a, like a high skin fade. Cool. Um, maybe not too much off the top. Keep some of the length. Yeah, keep the length because it's kind of, it's kind of going away yeah. a little bit. So cool. I'd like to avoid making it look like it's going as bald as it is. Um, and then just kind of line up the beard a little bit. Shop, Francisco will blow your back out. <laughs> so it comes with the service. Yeah. It comes with the service. <laughs> okay, you want me to blow your back out? Blow his back out? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna blow his back ah, out today. Sweet. <laughs> That's a little guy. Probably like 180, 175, 180 pounds, and he was just choking me out. <laughs> and I couldn't do anything about it. Was know? his name Bob, by any chance? He's talking about jiu jitsu. Did you see the size of this guy? I don't know, he looks pretty small in that cape. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet you Kenny could f him up. <laughs> hey Kenny, take care of this guy. <laughs> Yeah, you need to style your hair, man. You just kind of toss it back. I just, just literally it up a little bit. toss it back. Okay. I take a bunch of your yeah. um, beard ball and rub it in my hands and mm -hmm. turn my head upside down and just kind of coat it like uh, just kind of mm -hmm. rub yeah. it like that, like yeah. that. I've also been experiencing the styling balm as well because I like that that provides a little bit more hold, provides a little bit more tightness with my curls. Do um, you use a sea salt spray? I got some of that too. Okay. <laughs> I think I've only used it twice maybe. Okay. Um, well, that's probably going to be your best friend. A little bit of balm and a little bit of sea salt spray. Well, I, and you all yeah. streamlined it, which I love. Yeah. You got one shampoo, you got one conditioner, and it goes for both your hair and your beard. I mean, you can't get better than that. Yeah. I, I think we're almost approaching a little uh, modern day Jeff Bridges over here, man. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nice, all right. The dude, the vibe. Yeah, exactly. You can add some Kurt Russell. I love it, I love it. Especially with that gray hair, man. To have gray hair and this much of it is such a great combo. Flattery will get you everywhere. Jesse, there's a fifth element joke. Hey, that's what you look like. You look like a, a bootleg male fifth element. Yeah. I haven't seen a movie in like 26 years, dude, so. It's because you guys are all old, so it makes sense that you would reference shit like that, you know? <laughs> Although I did give Carlos a haircut this morning. That, that was my first. So I always think it's best to start with your most awkward customer, and then everything from there is easy, isn't it? And I'm the last one. You're, you're, you're the last one. I'm always happy to tell. That's why when Carlos goes to Amsterdam, he's always the first one in the red light district. They're like, let's get him out of the way. And anyone else after that, a doddle. Oh. I've never been to Amsterdam. That no. Had to, no. It is an odd place, Amsterdam. Same as Vegas. Vegas is an odd place. Yeah, I've not done Vegas either. My sister got married in Vegas, but she she got married in a hotel, and they 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 uh, they showed it live. And if you logged in early, an Elvis impersonator came out. <laughs> and went like that. He went, oh, hello, the uh, ceremony hasn't started yet. Uh, come back, uh -huh. oh, was uh, it a video? <laughs> it was a video, just like a thing that just looped round. I was like, this is horrendous. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy on YouTube that does that, isn't it? Um, just goes up to people in cars and says, yeah, what do you, yeah, what do, you, what do, do, you do for a living? Yeah, what do you do for a living? And there's loads of people that are only fan. Is it, fa is it only fans or fans only? Only fans. Only, oh, Carlos knows. Men do do it. Oh yeah, men, I'm men, sure. Yeah. I'm sure, men there's, do there's it. A, there's a market for it. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a market for. There's a Laurie. There's a market for everything. Everything. Uh, I posted a picture on Instagram, and we were sat. I was sat in the doorway of my van, and I've been on the been on the beach, and I just posted a picture of like the floor, sandy floor, and my feet. I must have had about four or five people messaging me, asking me if I would send more pictures of my feet to them. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Going, yeah. Yeah. And Bavani was like, well, are they paying for it? 
I was like, hold on a minute. Well, I, yeah, let's hold on. take a step back here. Yeah. What are you talking not, about? Your instant go-to is, are you going to make money out of this or are you not making money out of yeah. this? Yeah, don't skip leg day, Kenny. <clears throat> You hear that, Bob? It says, he said, don't skip leg day, bro. Oh, I skip leg day every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the top, I'm going to go very, uh, I'm like going to take maybe just a tiny bit, like kind of what you see there got my, uh, come out of my fingers. And this is just to make more of like the, uh, the top a little bit more even. Give you more of like that fuller density that we're talking about. Okay. And also at the end, I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna use a little bit of like our sea salt spray. Okay. And what that does, it, uh, it'll it help the hair kind of like expand, kind of be a little bit more full. Give you a little grid. Like I wouldn't recommend you putting any like, like heavy product up top, because that would just clump up the hair, make it look more thinner. No, sir. I'm using the razor right now just to add a little bit more texture. I mean, not that I'm aware of. And then a little bit more layering. i taking most of it off. Okay. And then uh, I'll work it in from there. I'm just going to clean out these hairs, these pesky hairs that are right on the lip. Let me get some oil in there. I'm going to just throw some of our sea salt spray here, just a couple spritzes underneath and right on top. And this is after I've applied some oil, or in your case, if you prefer the utility bomb, that works as well. Second, you can buy maybe two or three second-hand barber, ch barber chairs for a grand, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need very much to set a barbershop up. Oh, I can yeah. stone. It smells nice, that one, doesn't mm. it? That's the old uh, utility oil. Having a great day, aren't it's we? It's just one thing after another. Things are just going well. So I've left a little residue of oil on my hands mm -hmm. as I mix it in with a paste. All right? So I've got some cream on my hand. But in my, I've got a residue of oil, oil on my hand. If I talk like paste. this, if I talk like this. Some creamy paste on my hand. This, uh, this lovely paste. I'm gonna paste it all over you. <laughs> oh, I've creeped myself out then. <laughs> <laughs> Succulent cream. <laughs> You look like a beautiful a new man. centurion. <laughs> yes. Spartan. That, yeah, that's He's it. a that Spartan. Look, that's the aim. We are Spartan. For Sparta. Is that the like the Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm going to get it in there, spread it in through the, through the root. Okay. I'm going to get a blow dryer. Low heat, okay. low speed. Just dry it out. Okay. You guys saw that stuff, yeah? The sea salt? Yeah, yeah. Temple smoke for the beer too, for like a beer bomb, a beer oil, yeah. 
Yeah. If you have a like a beard, uh, like a beard brush, especially for this length right now, yeah, it'll be perfect to uh, to move that uh, that product. Okay. Just brush it in really well with the throughout the beard. Yeah. But it'll give it some nice luster, some nice shine, and more more than anything, protect the skin underneath. Okay. So I loved it. Um, so very happy I took you up on it. Yeah. Jesse was great. Hey, if you've been thinking about it, get off your butt, get down here. I live in Houston. I'm driving to, to Blanco, and I just stopped in. You can you can make it happen easy. Oh, what did I learn from the experience? <laughs> that he from is the experience here. <laughs> he will he will always be weird, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you recommend it to everyone else? 10 out of 10, 100 percent It's cool, it's a good experience. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 very talented. Kinda of left it up to him, you know, what to do at the top and he had some recommendations and I appreciate it. You should definitely come see Cisco yeah. at the shop if you can get him. Yeah, if you can get him. So the way you can win is by liking the video and commenting two hashtags, Beard Brand and T R W S. Oh, the other thing is, let us know which haircut in the video is your favorite. You know who has a lot of regret? Bob's mom. <laughs> <laughs> we worked together way oh, too much. Barber Confessionals. Who's your favorite barber in the shop? Uh, my favorite barber in the shop... I don't know any good barbers, do. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the uh, why you dyed your hair. Because I wanted to, dude. <laughs> what was the inspiration? I was just telling them. I was just telling them. I just want to. Like, it, I'm not like trying to get attention or anything, but the, that's the worst part. Of it. you have to talk. People ask you, like, "Oh my God, you're old people, bro. Did you lose a bet? <laughs> Why? Why'd you do that? It's just cool, dude. I just want to be cool, man. <laughs> What's up, savages? Every time I come get a haircut, and like I leave here, I'm like, damn, I feel, I feel good.